In this video, we will learn how to find the density of a regular solid. That is the given wooden block. So this is a regular solid because it has a proper geometric shape. So we, we can say that it is in cuboidal shape. Or how about this pebble? No, it does not have a proper geometric shape. So we call this as an irregular solid. So whereas this is a regular block, a wooden block, a block made out of wood. So we are going to find the mass, volume and divide the mass by volume in order to find the density. Because we know that density is mass per unit volume of a substance. So we can use a balance, a double pan balance or a electronic balance to find the mass of any substance. So I found the mass of this block using this electronic balance as 3 grams. So I already found it for you. And I found the mass of the given block as 3 grams. Now we will learn how to find the volume of this given block. So we know that if I want to find out what is the surface area of this, I have to just multiply length into this breadth. Suppose if I want to find out the surface area of this side of this block, then I have to multiply the length and breadth again, the breadth in this side. If I want to find out the surface area of this side, just multiply these two dimensions, length into this breadth, right? Now I am going to find out the volume of this. There is a space occupied by the entire block. That is found using the formula base area into the width or the height. So now it is just small, so we can call it as width. So base area is L into B into its height. Now let us find out what is the L. So it is 7.5. Make sure that you keep the zero at the edge properly. And the other edge you have to note down and it is 7.5 centimeter. So I'll just uh, note down the dimensions. L is equal to 7.5 centimeter. Now we are going to find out the breadth. So all the dimensions measured using a scale. So I'm, I'm representing in centimeters as this is graduated in centimeters. Now we will learn how to find the width of it. So width is it is 1.4. So 0 to 1.4. It is not 5 exactly. So width is 1.4 centimeter. Now we will find the breadth of it. Breadth is. So length is here. Breadth is here. So it is 0 to 2 centimeter. Am I right? So it is 2 centimeter. So learn to use the scale properly. So that you can find out the volume or any quantity properly. So now learn, let us find out the volume of it. It is L into B into width, which is nothing but 7.5 centimeter into 2 centimeter into 1.4 centimeter. Now let us find the product of all these three, right? So 7.5 into 2, we will just multiply so first 5 twos are 10, 0, 1, 7 twos are 14, 15. So you have to place a point after one digit. So in the product I am just placing after one digit. So again it has to be multiplied by 1.4. So 15.0 can be written as 15 itself. So into 1.4 which is its width. So first you have to multiply the first digit. 5 fours are 20, 0, 2, 6. Again 1 15 so is 15. So add it, so you get 21 and you have to place a decimal which, should not, which you should not forget, right? So it is point, so it comes around, I mean it comes to 21, am I, am I right? I found the product of all these three dimensions as 21. So I will just write here 21, centimeter into centimeter into centimeter will give you centimeter to the power 3, right? So volume is measured in centimeter, so I am getting it as cube unit, right? Volume. All the dimensions are measured in centimeter. So the volume is expressed in cubed units. It can also be written as 21 cc. Right. Now let us find the density. So what is density? D is equal to m by v. So mass by volume. Right. So it is 3 mass which we have found out already. 3 gram by 21 cc. Right. Now we will uh, reduce the fraction. 3 1s are 3, 3 7s are 21. So I am getting it as 1 by 7 gram by cc, gram per cc. Now we will learn how to divide this uh, 1 by 7. So we are going to divide. So 7, can you divide? No. 
So what you have to do? You have to add one zero before which you have to place a decimal place, decimal point, right? Point should be placed. Add zero seven one sa seven. You will learn this division in detail in your math classes. So ten minus seven is three. Already a decimal is placed. You can just add zero. Okay, seven fours are twenty eight. Thirty minus twenty eight is two, and then add zero. Already you have placed a decimal, so you can just add zero. So now it it is seven twos are fourteen. So it will just be a a non terminating decimal. So it'll just go on. So we'll just stop at the two decimal places. So we'll write the answer as zero point one four. So what is the answer? It is zero point one four gram per cc. So we have learned how to find the density of the wooden block using the formula d is equal to m by v am i right so how did you do it just find the mass find the volume by just finding the product of the three dimensions length into breadth into width so we will learn how to find the density of an irregular solid in the next videos thank you